Hi, I'm Mega. I'm an enterprise customer engineer. A customer engineer is also known as a sales engineer outside of Google. You're basically the technical point of contact for your customer. You're the person that knows a lot about the product that the, co the company is selling, and you're going to help your clients integrate, use it, and build on it. As engineers, you are usually taught or you see for like movies and stuff or shows that like you're stuck in a room behind your computer and that's what you do. That's not the case at all. There's just so many different roles that you can pursue as a technical person, as an engineer, that allows you to actually interact with people, make an impact, and build relationships. I always thought I was going to be a doctor, but that didn't exactly work out. <laughs> I one day broke my laptop, and I always had an affinity for tech. Um, I fixed my laptop, and that just kind of drove me to, like, what is tech all about? Um, I clearly loved problem solving, so that kind of boosted me into taking more classes in that area. So I pivoted from pre-med to um, IT, and then I was able to graduate and start a job at a startup where I was the only female and the youngest IT engineer. That eventually got my foot in the door for Google, where I also worked at internal support at TechStop. I was always intrigued by those that worked in the cloud. I genuinely thought the cloud was just like, you store your data with a company and they have it somewhere, which is silly because I work in tech, but I like genuinely didn't think about it more than that. There's so many different technologies all within the cloud, and that really struck a chord with me because that just meant that there was just so much to learn and so much that are st still being built and innovated on that I just found that so fascinating that I want to learn more. When I started to learn more about the cloud, I was able to gain the skills and learn more by taking certifications online. There's so many out there. Um, there are a lot of YouTube videos as well for different cloud providers and even just individuals that are really interested in the cloud. If you didn't get a degree in this or if you didn't have a previous job in this area, it doesn't mean that it's just so completely far-fetched for you to try. There are so many resources out there for people like you, for people like me, to get into this area of tech and work in it. For anyone interested in this role, I would say that if you are willing to go the extra mile, really to, willing to always solve that problem, you'd be so happy in this role.